What's up everybody, David Bissell here. Welcome to the vlog. It is the end of my first eight week building block in my prep for the WBFF World Pro in Vegas this summer. In this vlog, we're gonna look at my starting point and my finish point, how far I've come, journey in between to get there, and a little training montage of eight weeks so far. If you've watched my last video, you can see that I did have a hiccup. I injured my back, sob story. <laughs> but regardless of that, I do feel like I've made some good gains. You know, I'm happy with the size that's come on and I'd rather have that hiccup now than later down the line in a more vital stage of the prep. At least I can learn from it now and move on forward. Let's take a look at the progress across this eight week building block. Here, you can see my start position. Now I'm 78 kilos here. You can see I've got abs, I've got obliques, and I've got separation in my quads. I'm pretty cut, I'm pretty lean. It's a really good starting position. And here's where I am right now. I'm 83.5 kg as of this morning, Sunday 1st of April. That's a 5.5 kilogram gain. You can see I'm a lot less lean. That's the most obvious thing. My abs aren't as defined. My legs aren't showing as much separation either. Carrying a bit of extra body fat around the lower back as well. Now let's put the two photos side by side so we can have a bit of a comparison here. And first thing is, you know, it's hard to see where I've added muscle and that's the illusion of the lower body fat. It actually makes you look bigger, or at least in pictures it does anyway. I would say I probably look you know, bigger in the start position than I do now. Um, and that's just the illusion of lower body fat. But you can see, if you look closely, there's definitely some more thickness in my back in my shoulders, um, and especially in my legs as well. In person though, I do feel way, way bigger. I feel bigger when I'm training, I feel stronger, I'm getting really big pumps, and it feels great. I'm so pleased with the progress. In terms of my strength gain, you know, my strength started to plateau around about now, and that's a good sign that you know I'm coming into a point where I need to deload as is planned in. Main strength gains, I'd say were between week one and five, then I had my Hiccup, and then the last couple of weeks I've been training hard, but strength not going up so much, but size has been. Now, if you're interested in how I got from start position to end position here, and you wanna try and emulate it, then I've got two videos on my YouTube so far that I recommend. Check out the training video and the nutrition video together. These will give you pretty much all the tools you'll need to give this a go yourself. So yeah, I am so happy, and to think I've got another building block too. If I can add another 5.5 kgs and be up at kind of 88, I'd be really, really happy. And I'm gonna put all my progress in this first block down to two things. First one, entering the WBFF, putting my entry down, paying for it, locking it in. And the second one, starting this YouTube, putting out there that I'm doing this, having other people know about it, and making me conscious and feel accountable to them as well. Putting my entry down for the WBFF at the start of the phase, that's what made it real. That committed me to doing the competition and that gave me the focus that I needed to really plow down and add some size as if it were the cutting phase. Normally, I would enter the show you know, at the start of the cutting phase, but here, you know, I've done it way ahead over time. And it's made a difference. I recommend anyone who's competing anywhere, just get your entry in now, lock that in. And starting YouTube, being here with you right now, well, that's been amazing in itself. Although it's been a slow start, you know, I'm not racking in millions of views over here. I have had a few people we reach out to say they've been following the journey, which has been just amazing. You know, it means so much when you're grinding away, working and putting so much effort into putting videos out, just a handful of messages to say, you know, I've been watching, I've been tuning in, keep it up, it, it means the world. And having to stick to a video schedule too has helped kept me on track and kept me motivated to get everything that I've done, to hit all the videos each week. And it's just really embedded me in the entire process of YouTube and the contest prep. It's been amazing. And although I did miss one video, I plan to do a weekly video, I did miss one video when I had the little hiccup. Otherwise, I've been pretty consistent with it. 
just missing the one and that feels great too. In this week here, this final week, I've also launched my 12 week online transformation and I'm pretty sure YouTube and all the content I've been putting out has had a big part in attracting all the people that took part in that. So I'm really pleased about that and thanks to everybody that's got on board. Those guys start next week. On the whole, I couldn't be more happier with the start of this year. Launching YouTube, I've been busy at the gym, progress of mass, adding muscle in a successful phase, the launch of my 12 week plan. It couldn't have gone any better. Thanks again to everyone who's followed and who's supported. I'm off to Croatia now for a well needed break. Although I've been really happy with the last, you know, progress since the start of the year, I am knackered, I am burnt out. So I need this and I feel like this is gonna really invigorate me to hit the ground hard again when I get back. But before I go, I'm gonna leave you with a little progress reel of the full eight weeks and some highlights. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next block.